Hi guys, I'm Maria Brown, welcome back. Okay, today I'm gonna to talk about lip lines. I have these little lines around my lips here and underneath. Yesterday, I went to the dermatologist and had her um, put PDO threads around my lips. They come in a package of 10, so, you know, I don't know how many she used in each area, but she put the threads right into my lips and then you twist it and you pull the needle out and you leave the thread in there. The thread is the same material they use for stitches for heart surgeries, so they dissolve, but while they're there, they kind of aggravate your skin and you develop more collagen. And so that's what we're trying to do. You know, instead of doing like fillers or something, I'm just trying to boost my own collagen. I did have some spots there yesterday. I wonder if I still do a little bit where the needles went in. And, you know, we'll see what happens in um, a month or two. The last time I went to see her, I had her put the PDO threads right here under my eyes to work on these little lines underneath my eyes. I mean, that's just like saggy skin. And really the only way to get rid of it is to have like an operation where they take some of the skin out. But instead of that, I had to use the PDO threads and we had <laughs> a blood vessel and I had the biggest shiner. Oh my gosh, it was so purple. I'll, I'll throw a picture in here. And I had a Zoom meeting the next day. And I it was only it was two women that are co-workers. And um I told them I'm not turning on my camera because I have a big shiner. And then they started talking about cosmetic things that they've done as well. And so during the meeting, I said, all right, I'm going to turn on my video. And I'm like, there it is, this big shiner. So that was pretty funny. I still have a little bit of residual. It takes a while for that to go away. I don't know. Um, it's still a little bit purple there. But hopefully in time, it will go away. There are a lot of blood vessels under your eyes. And, you know, I didn't get any uh, I don't even have like any mark, maybe a tiny mark here, but really nothing from going around my lips. But if you're going to do it around your eyes, just be aware of the fact that there are a lot of blood vessels. And we had like a slow leak when I left there. Looked like I wasn't going to have any, you know, signs of it, but we must have hit a tiny little blood vessel somewhere. And it was throughout the day, it was getting more and more and more purple. And then really purple. Hi guys, I just wanted to give you a little update on those PDO threads that I had put in around my lips. All right, so it's five days later and for the last few days, I've been able to kind of feel them. It's, it's like a weird feeling. Sometimes it's almost a little pinch, but it doesn't really hurt. It's just totally weird, but I could feel one right down here and I can feel one up here. And no, they do break down. It takes about four months altogether, but they start breaking down. So the um, feeling is going to lessen and it's going to bring out all that good collagen, right? That's what I'm hoping. But it reminded me of the fact that I had PDO threads put in around my smile lines about three years ago. And one of them, the angle was a little too, it's supposed to be like right under your skin, but that one went maybe a little too deep. And after a couple of days, I could feel something like, like pinching a little bit on the inside of my mouth. And then it came through, <laughs> like it totally worked its way through my cheek and I pulled it out and it was a squiggly little clear thing. And I did take a picture and he sent it to the dermatologist. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. The picture's not clear. Um, I was just looking at it, but um, if you're interested to see what they look like, I'll show you uh, what I have anyhow. And she did replace it. So anyhow, PDO threads, I really love them because they help to boost your own collagen. And for me, I like that better than fillers. Okay, so, 
Maybe I'll show you an update in a couple of months to see if the lip lines have softened. I'm trying to do it because my son's getting married in two months, two months from today, actually. And um, I just want to soften that a little bit if, if possible. So, okay, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Until next time, I'm Maria Brown. Thanks for watching.